Chetim, you joined Oracle 22 years ago as an engineer in the database section. Today you're responsible for the data warehouse features of the Oracle database. Which Oracle version was the first that you, you started with? Well, I started with Oracle version 6, and I think Oracle version 6 went production approximately one year after I joined. So 6 would have been the uh, okay. first version that I, I, I worked on. Okay. So it's quite a long time since then. Which were the, the, the most important evolutions in the Oracle database since then? So approximately a couple of years after I joined, we started concentrating on data warehousing and, and trying to make, the, uh, make Oracle the best uh, data warehousing platform. And we have added a number of features and functionality over the years to make that vision a reality. And we started with simple things like different kinds of indexing, like bitmap indexing and bitmap join indexing and star query transformations, etc. We moved on to more complex things, for example, materialized views and uh, uh, aggregations. And, and over the last few years, we're moving into this space of transformative data warehousing and doing things like predictive analytics and all sorts of uh, different uh, kinds of data. So what would you think in which, what, what will be the focus areas um, to, to continue this evolution of data warehousing features over the next years? So I can't mention specific uh, set of features and functionality, but I can say that um, predictive analytics is going to continue to play an important role. Um, R and different uh, data mining uh, functionality that we're going to keep adding to the database to make the database more useful for all, all sorts of different uh, uh, da uh, data and all sorts of different analytics that you can do with the data. And of course, faster, better, cheaper uh, is a continuous uh, thing for Oracle. So we want the database to be even easier to use than it is today, automate more of the things that we have done so far, and make it infinitely scalable. Okay. So what are the, the major business goals that Oracle wants to reach with data warehousing BI um, in the next time? We want to enable our customers to get more value out of their databases than they do today. And we have been on this uh, trend for a long time and will continue over the next few years as well. So our main goal is to get our customers get, get a lot more value than, uh, than they do today. And the, uh, the different aspects of that may be, we, you know, we're going to continue doing more engineered systems, kind of try to be the apple of the enterprise world where everything is integrated and everything just works out of the box. So that's our you know, major business goal is to get our customers you know, get a lot of value out of, uh, of the, of the, uh, out of their Oracle databases. Sounds very promising. Oracle just introduced the new analytical platform Axolytics at the open world. Um, will we see any changes or impacts here for the OLAP option within the classical Oracle database? Um, I would say uh, the, the latest release of uh, OBIE, which is uh, uh, which is what comes with Exolytics, has introduced more native support uh, for uh, the or Oracle OLAP option that is in the database. So for the first time in, in this latest release of OBIE, you can uh, query Oracle OLAP uh, data more natively than you ever were able to do before. Previous to this uh, latest release, you had to create a bunch of relational views to hide the uh, uh, multi-dimensional data that's in the database. With the latest release of OBIE and Exolytics, you're now able to query all of that more natively. Okay, okay. Will we see more in-memory technology within the database in the future? So with the latest release uh, of Oracle database uh, called 11.2.0.3, 11 uh, we have actually introduced a lot of our, our um, uh, in-memory processing techniques, in-memory parallel processing techniques. 
and you're, we're now able to get the maximum throughput from DRAM with the latest release of Oracle. And of course, we're going to continue that trend, and there's going to be more things to come in the area of in-memory processing. Right. Chetin, thanks a lot for your time and for the interview, and enjoy your stay here in Germany. Thank you very much. Thank you.